Do I stand here or sit down? Uh, it's up to you. Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister. A questioner asks, President Bush's call for a new world order under law has been variously interpreted. From your perspective, what do you believe the broad goals should be in a new world order? <coughs> That's a new speech, although a slightly longer one. Um, well, the first condition for new world order is clearly to get rid of the old one. Uh, and that is to a certain extent completed. You might find the odd example of countries and regions where the process hasn't been concluded. Well, Cuba to take one example. But, but oh, on the whole, the old order is gone when it comes to establishing the new order. Well, what, what, what I'm stressing in all of my talks here is that a precondition for a new world order being stable is stability in all of the areas that were so seriously affected by the Soviet Union and by Soviet policies and by the Soviet Empire. If we can't bring stability based on liberal democracies and based on prosperous free market economies to these countries, all our other efforts are going to fail. But if we succeed in that, and we and we, primarily they, with our help, uh, that's not enough. Then we must have global cooperation, a free trading arrangement that includes everyone, uh, strength and reinforced United Nations, the rule of the law, not only in the life of the societies and the countries internally, but also the rule of the law in international relations. And on all of these fields you can see that prospects are indeed better than they have probably ever been. But we aren't there yet. And we'll probably have to spend most of the 1990s making certain that we do realize the prospect. We should always be aware of the dangers of failure. The new world, 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 world order is a possibility. It wasn't a possibility in the past, but um, it will require a lot of effort during the 1990s to turn it into real reality.